hi my people them yeah no you guys missed me it's your boy paul Kada, back again with another banging video so today i'm gonna talk about all the problems we face in today's society and i know we all have problems we face every single day so i just wanted to mention them just so i can bring some awareness to the things that we might mindlessly overindulge in every single day and also things that we could possibly reduce to improve our lives in the future. These are things that, okay, yeah, you might still be young. You might want to enjoy your life. I'm not stopping you from doing that. I'm just bringing to your awareness that these things, they're not going to benefit us in the long run. Over Overindulging in these things will not bring us a fruition. <laughs> A fruitionable future that's why i encourage you guys to to just like reduce them maybe replace them with other things don't just spend all your time doing these one things or these several things i started doing um i think i've told you guys that i've been doing some bo i've been doing boxing training and i really love it it's so like therapeutic I, I I just love boxing and I had a, a little sparring session yesterday and I absolutely loved it. Like obviously it wasn't a proper sparring session because I'm not I'm not at that stage yet to be able to spar someone yet. But it was just like it was a one on one against someone else that I've been training with and I I loved it. I absolutely loved it. Boxing is definitely a very enduring sport and it does take a lot to be able to just like withstand the stamina and uh, the muscular endurance the aerobic aerobic endurance the cardiovascular endurance is so it is very it is very like enduring it's very demanding of your 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 lungs your your cardio system but i love i absolutely love boxing boxing is so good it's good good for the body and obviously people are gonna try put me off say oh leave now while you still have the chance and all of this or oh you know about all these injuries and stuff like that and this and that and blah and blah you could you could literally leave your house and something bad could happen something bad is is bound to happen at any point in your life society have made us so weak to the point where we'd rather we'd rather like live in comfort than encourage other people to go out there and do things that improve your masculinity in my perspective there's even women at my boxing gym and they love it and i can see they're probably more fit than 50 percent, 60 70 percent of the people that i know that are male all my male friends, they're definitely way more fit than most of my friends. More stamina, more strength. And that's, I, <laughs> I'm not going to be that type of person to say that's shameful because it's not really shameful. We're all equal. We've all got the same opportunities. If someone else works harder than the other person, the person that works harder is going to achieve more. But if the other person is working smarter, then the other person that's working harder, the person that's working smart is more likely to, to succeed in the long run. So I want to be the guy that works smart and hard. I want to overachieve. I want to be at the top. This is why I'm a leader. Uh, with no, no more kerfuffle, guys, I want to speak about all the things that we face today as issues. So the first thing, okay, not really all, but just a few things, a few things but it should realistically mark everything off that we face today in today's society. So the first thing on my list is Netflix. Oh, Netflix. Netflix, Netflix, Netflix. Don't we all just love a bit of Netflix? Yeah, I catch myself watching Netflix every now and again, especially when it's those like shows that are just so good, like Top Boy. Oh, my days. Um... The best thing I can say is from Monday to Friday, focus on your purpose. Even Monday to Thursday. Monday to Thursday, 
just focus on focus on things that are work related business related passion related purpose related chores cleaning etc 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 and then from friday to set sunday well sunday is more like a rest day so obviously sunday could be you could clean your house just be chilling sunday you could even watch a few films uh organize and get ready for for the next week and stuff like that but from monday to thursday just avoid trying to watch netflix there's this thing where like when you watch that first episode there's this I, i'm not i'm I'm not sure if it's the amig amygdala i don't even i'm not too good with like um psychology and all the, the key terms and stuff like that but i think it's the amygdala when you watch something that brings you pleasure, you're more likely to just be like, oh, you know what, fuck it, let me just watch the next one. Let me just let me just quickly watch the the, the next one because um, I ain't got shit to do right now. And yeah, I don't mind watching that. Especially with, if you're with your girl or vice versa. When you're with someone, you just want to, you just want to relax, kick back, sit back, just chill with them. I mean, when I'm watching Netflix and I'm with a girl, all right so <laughs> um netflix cut down on netflix um the next thing on my list is um this is another issue we we face um in today's society it's drugs I see a lot of people on like instagram uh, snapchat twitter they're taking these like balloons these canisters um all these like all these vape thc vapes and i see obviously I'm I'm definitely someone that's prone to smoking. Um, I don't smoke cigarettes, but um, the green stuff is something I'm definitely prone to. And I see a lot of people, a lot of people are addicted to smoking weed. And it's because it 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 attacks like it's like a reliever. It almost attacks. It fights off all the all the pain, the trauma all the negative experiences, all the stress, it's like it tackles it for that brief moment, maybe a couple hours, and then everything comes back to life again once you've sobered up, etc., and stuff like that. Um, yeah, drugs are not good, especially like I see people taking even these worst drugs. I, I definitely not condone taking drugs in the first place because that's all crazy. But all these people taking like canisters, the the NOS balloons and stuff like that. And then you see them in hospital, their legs can't function anymore and they're gonna amputate it. There's there's too many there's too many health risks that come with taking drugs. And this phrase, um, prevention is better than cure, is absolutely so true. It would be better to prevent yourself from taking these these sort of things. <clears throat> whether it's socially or by yourself just avoid avoid taking drugs i'm with you on this one though i understand how it is very difficult especially when you're like you're stuck with it like it's literally what motivates you to do certain things every day or every week or every month then it becomes a habit and then it's very difficult to stop i can't even go into like the details there's so much there's so much deeper with addiction because then there's other things as well that you people could get addicted to like sugar coffee um fat fatty foods fast foods fizzy drinks etc there's so many like but um drugs is definitely one that you should avoid because that is a problem we face in today's society the next things on my list is video games, guys. Video games. Blah. I'm still, I'm still, uh, I'm still prone to this. I still catch myself loading up a game. Maybe I'll play one game or two and then I'll be like, eh, I'm not enjoying this. Let me turn it off, do something else. And like most of the things on these lists, they all coincide with each other. It's like, oh, if you're tired of playing um, video games, you're going to go watch Netflix. If you if you want to watch Netflix, you want to go smoke some some of the, the green stuff. 
or take a, a, a take a canister or take whatever the the heck you guys are taking these days because jesus christ this generation is so fucked uh mind my profanity i'm just being myself if you don't like it there's a there's a there's an x button at the top of your screen you can always click away i don't really care i don't make these videos for you i make them for you the person that's struggling in life yeah i'm not making it for you the person that's succeeding and you've got everything perfect going in your life and you don't even like me or my personality i'm not making these videos for you i'm making it for the people that are struggling the people that like me the people that can understand where i'm coming from i'm making these videos for you guys yeah it's just what's understood doesn't need to be said so video games we all know video games aren't good for us 90 percent of the time we play video games we're not enjoying them unless we're playing them with friends and even then we start quarreling and arguing and complaining and stressing ourselves out <clears throat> junk food junk food is is a killer <laughs> Junk food is an absolute killer. It tastes good. It makes you feel good while you're eating it in that moment. It tastes so good. Oh my God, junk food can taste so good sometimes. Like junk food, junk food is a killer, is a killer. But if you can start eating healthier food, if you can start rather spending money on that cheap junk food, invest a little bit more and buy the food that is actually better quality or healthier, with more greens and more salads and that avoids all the the fizzy drinks and stuff like that go for that if you have the money to spend or if you don't have the money shop and buy food that's healthier buy in bulk cook your own food that you like reduce the sugar and salt intake that you put in it try to take out the fats eat healthier eat clean and it will show in your skin it will show in your body it will show in your confidence it will show in your energy levels eating healthier is so like it's so hard to avoid eating junk food especially in today's society because most people their friends eat it their families eat it this person eats it the next person eats it we've grown up eating it so it's like we're addicted to junk food we're literally addicted anyone that says anyone that enjoys eating junk food they can attest that they are definitely addicted to eating junk food and i don't blame you it's the world we live in we live in a comfortable world now we live in a world of comfort everything is easy access everything is easy to get just literally fucking call order it online and you've got it on your door like literally life is is so easy to just mess up your life it's so easy or it's not actually easy but for those that make it easy, it's easy to improve your life as well. You just got to make it easy to improve your life. The same way you made it easy to ruin your life is the same way you can make it easy to improve your life. The next thing on my list is social media. This one is a hit and miss because um, some people use social media for their, their purpose. Some people use social media for their passions to document their, their life, to document what they're doing their events some pe other people they use social media to to manipulate other people to to discourage other people to watch things that that bring pleasure to their mind to give them that dopamine rush to just waste time watching memes and stuff like that online uh, uh, like don't get me wrong to the people that are my age and younger or relatively around my age and younger or if you're even in your 20s your 30s you you understand what i'm talking about if even if you're a teenager as well or even younger you you get what i'm saying social media like you could literally load up tiktok watch one funny thing before you know it you're on tiktok for like an hour 30 minutes load up twitter open your group chat you watch one funny thing before you know it, you're trying to watch every like literally before you know it 30 minutes one hour gone mindlessly consuming content same thing as instagram 
you see this badass chick and you want to start reading the comments you want to start liking her pictures going through her portfolio before you know it you realize she has other friends that are good looking you want to go check them out as well been there done that tinder same thing swiping for like mindlessly for like 20 30 40 minutes that same that same 40 minutes you spent swiping on uh, tinder <coughs> Um, I need some more, I guess. <laughs> oh shoot! That same that same thirty minutes you spent on on Tinder swiping. <clears throat> or on Instagram, swiping, swiping. You could have dressed up, gone to somewhere nice, central London or wherever's nice in your area or city. And spoken to a few girls, got their numbers, taken them out on a date. You could have done that, but you decided to just swipe, 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 waste time, 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 play games, 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 take drugs, drugs, drugs. When these things are deteriorating your life. And I don't blame you guys. I'm here for you. I'm here to help you guys. I'm here to assist you guys, aid you guys. Make life easier and better for you guys. And the last thing I put on my list was YouTube. Um, so everything on my list is mostly things that I find myself going through issues. I had to make it as heavily relatable as possible. I, I spend a lot of time on YouTube. I'm a YouTuber. So obviously I, I, I'm prone to spending a lot of time on YouTube. But um, the content I watch has definitely changed a lot from what I used to watch in the past. I used to watch a lot of public interviews and guess what I started doing? Making public interviews. Now I watch a lot of self-improvement videos and guess what I do now? I make public uh, self-improvement videos. And I love doing this. I, I love making videos. That's the main reason I make videos. A lot of people don't like making videos. Some people, they like to edit. Some people, they don't like making videos. Some people, they'd prefer to not edit or not make videos. They prefer to work for someone. Well, we all have what we want to do. We all have what we love doing. We all have what we're good at doing. But it's about reducing the things that affect our lives in the future. So watching YouTube videos, uh, it's great to watch self-improvement videos like this one. But realistically, the time you spent watching this video, you could have improved your life. You could have focused on cook it or preparing a meal, read a book, spend some time speaking to your family members, speaking to your friends over the phone, encouraging them, giving other people advice, going out there, helping homeless people, giving food to beggars. We could, we could do, we could go out of our way to do better, but we'd rather sit here and, and listen to this amazing, beautiful man sitting in front of you with an amazing voice. He looks like an angel. I appreciate your compliments. Not every day. <laughs> so um, these are the things that we need to cut off. Netflix, video games, drugs, junk food and drinks, social media and YouTube videos. That's my list. You might have your own list. Write it down, work towards it, tick it off when you're getting closer towards your goal. And I'm gonna really quickly, briefly, just suggest a few things that you can add or replace uh, with the bad things to cut off. And these things would be go out in nature, go watch a leaf for like 10 minutes. Look at the leaf, pre the leaf for 10 minutes, watch the leaf. Look at that leaf. How was that leaf designed? Look at all the, the impurities in that leaf. All the cuts, the, the holes. Look, examine the leaf. Look at the leaf. Go out in nature. Pre the trees. Look at the tree. Look at the clouds, the sky. Observe nature. Observe the world around you. Don't stick yourself. Don't limit yourself by your environment, which is your house. Go out there. Go explore. The next thing is spend time with friends. And this doesn't mean playing video games or watching Netflix with them. 
taking drugs with them or watching YouTube videos with them or taking junk food and drinks with them. This means go out there and actually do something fun. Maybe go out in nature with them. Go spend some time in nature. Maybe take some gym rings and, and practice working on your core, your core strength. Go to the gym with them. Spend When I've heard that, if you're with a good friend and you go gym with them, you, you, you end up doing more than you was going to do if you just went gym by yourself. I mean, that's for, that's like a theory. Obviously, some people work better by themselves. I'm a lone warrior. I prefer to do everything by myself. But I love... I love spending time with friends as well. We all need friends. Like subconsciously, it it relieves stress. Subconsciously improves our social skills. So it's like, why not just go spend time with friends doing things that you could have done by yourself? You could do that with a friend. So go spend some time, some valuable time with friends. Maybe take your friend out to go eat. It doesn't have to be your girlfriend or it doesn't have to be your boyfriend. Just take take a, a friend, a good friend. Take a good friend out. We spend some time with them. Spend um, the next thing on my list to add would be exercising more. Obviously, we all know this now. I've literally said this in all my videos. Try to exercise more because this will improve your mental health. To improve your mental health, you need to exercise. I say this all the time. And if you haven't heard it before, you're hearing it now. Exercise more. Meditate more. I literally, any if I'm speaking about mental health, I will always tell you to meditate. It's as easy as that. Breathe in through your nose and breathe out through your, your, your mouth. Find a quiet area, close your eyes. The best app I can recommend is Medito. Medito, M-E-D-I-T-O. I'll try to put the link in the description. That's the best app for meditation. It literally walks you through it. They have different sections to tackle different areas. And I think you guys will definitely benefit from it. They don't pay me for the advertisement of their, their brand. The app is free. It's free. It's free for all you broke ass mother... The next thing on my list is I want you guys to journal more. These last three things I've mentioned, no one's going to do them. No one's going to no one's going to pick up a pen, pick up their journal and and just like journal things that that can improve their life. No one's going to do that. It's only the 1%. Remember, you need to stop comparing yourself to other people and start competing against each other. It's the competition that actually leads to an improvement. If you compare yourself to someone, you're just wishing you was like them. That's going to put you down and then you're not, you're going to be even worse than you're going to eventually just put yourself at a decline. It's logical. It makes sense. You've just never processed it. You've never thought about it. So journal more. Start gratitude journaling. Whatever's on your mind, just put it down on the piece of paper. Write down your goals, your ambitions. Write down ways you're going to get towards these things. Write down checklists a timetable, write all these things down. These things will make you flourish because the other 99% of people aren't doing this. Invest into your work or craft. So my craft would be doing this right now. This is a craft, this is a hobby. This is my passion, this is my purpose. All of the above. I don't get paid right now from the YouTube videos I make, but if I keep being consistent if i keep working and practicing and improving my videos and keep bringing out value eventually i will get paid for it and even if i do start getting paid from youtube youtube could eventually it could the business could literally just go in decline it could it could blow off like youtube could die right now and then i'd stop making money from youtube but at least the skills that I've earned from, from making the YouTube videos, I can apply that into any other application, any other social media website. So invest in your work or craft. Working is just to, to build income. You could work in something that you're passionate about. You could work in a place that changes other people's lives and work your way up to, 
to do even greater things. That's a good thing. If you're passionate about that, why not? A hundred percent. You could also work in a, a firm or a company that you might not really enjoy working in. Or you, like at the end of the day, <clears throat> you're working there to improve your your financial stability right now. But on the side, you're working on your craft as well to make you even more financially stable. But that's something you're passionate about. Let's not get into the mechanics of it and you get where I'm coming from. Invest in your work or craft. <sighs> Invest time into your attractiveness. So literally focus on your health. Any Everything you do throughout your day affects your health, whether it's mentally or physically. If you're breathing the wrong way, you're affecting your health, your physical and mental health in the future. You might not see it now, but everything you do now will affect your future. So invest into your attractiveness. I've, I've spoken in a, in a previous video on hygiene. So if you want to go watch that video, clean yourself, keep yourself clean, dress nice, get a haircut or style your hair trim your beard make make sure you look good breathe meditate meditation brings you more in the moment so that when you're speaking to someone else you know how to how to just give them give them all your energy just give them your love you know how to speak to them make them someone you want to they want to listen to invest in your attractiveness and the last thing on my list was Invest into things that can improve your health. Invest into things that can improve your health. And I didn't just say mental health. And I didn't just also say physical health. I didn't say spiritual health. I said into your health. So these are all things that can improve your health. If you just focus on that last thing, all the other things I mentioned are just sub like, they're just literally attributes to that last thing. If you improve, if you're improving your health, reading a book would improve your health. If you're, if you're trying to improve your health, investing into spending time with friends, doing things that are productive and valuable to, to both of you guys' life or, or value, valuable. I can't even speak anymore. <laughs> Invest into your health. Trust me, it's definitely worth it. It's definitely worth it. You know this, you're alive today because you've in some way, shape or form invested into your health. If you didn't eat for several days or drink anything, you'd be dead. So just based off that, that just means that if, if you could just be consistent, focusing on your health, all these other things you'll start to flourish in. If you start researching, if you start becoming more interested in, in um, improving your health, investing in your health, all these other things will, will come to, to play. I'm going to give you, this is going to be the last thing I say. I'm going to give you a short list of things that I want you to work on every day. So I want you to have it like a checklist. And if you could just tick these things, these small things off every single day, you're, 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 you're improving 1% every day and getting closer to the person you want to be, to the person you aspire to be, to the person you would look up to, to the person that would be a role model to others. If you can meditate every day, if you can pray every day, if you can read a book every day, if you can learn something new every day, if you can exercise every single day, if you can focus on your purpose every single day, and finally, if you could gratitude journal every single day, these seven things I've mentioned, so meditation, focusing on your breathing, praying, being grateful. You don't need to pray to God if you're not a Christian. Just be grateful. Not everyone's a Christian. I'm a Christian. I speak from my Christian values, my Christian views. I pray to God. I pray to Jesus. I believe in the Bible. I believe in heaven and hell. If you just pray, be grateful for what has happened. Think about it logically. If you're praying for something good to happen, it's like manifestation. If you're believing that something great is going to happen, eventually it's going to happen, especially if you're working towards it as well. Reading every single day improves your 
improves your mentality, improves your your wisdom, your knowledge, your understanding. When you read, you're bet you can articulate yourself better. I mean, right now I'm speaking like a freaking retard. <laughs> no offense to all the retards, but it's because I'm just trying to quickly educate you. I just want to get everything on my mind, off my mind, but into your mind. Even though you're probably not going to do it. 99.9% .9 of what I've told you in this video. But it's for the people that are the 0.0%. I'm speaking to the 0.01%. I might have a zillion, a gazillion, a billion followers, a billion subscribers. Only, only 0.1% of you guys will focus on what I'm telling you. But I want, I want to increase that number. I want all of you to, to, to do what I'm telling you. If you can read a book, it will improve your mentality. If you can learn something new in the day. So learning something new could be selling something if you've never sold something in your life. Trying something new. If you've never if you've never gone bowling, go bowling today if you have free time. If you've never worked as a security, if you've never worked as a personal trainer, if you've never if you've never been skydiving and you're afraid of it, if you've never had a pet as a if you've never had a dog as a pet, try it. Try it, go through that experience. Go do it. And I don't mean go learn how to eat junk food. Go learn how to try new drugs. Go learn how to watch a new Netflix series. No, these aren't things that are going to build a better you in the future. Exercising, we all know, just going simple but being consistent and then increasing the time over time. That's the easiest way to exercise. Do little now. But focus on being consistent and then long term, you'll see the, the benefits of it. Focusing on your purpose. So this is something you're passionate about. I hate using the word purpose because right now on the Internet, it just it seems like <laughs> it just seems like a really dark place. Like, oh, you should focus on your purpose. <laughs> well, it's just literally what you're passionate about, what you love doing and what you're good at doing as well at the same time. Um, and then finally, gratitude journaling. So writing down every single day what you're grateful for. This could be at night or in the morning. I hope I hope um, someone has reached this far in this video. Possibly not. Probably just speaking to myself at this point. But you know I genuinely have interest for, for what you want to do. I genuinely care about your your success. I genuinely care about how well you do in the future. That's why I want you guys to message me on Instagram, asking me for some help, asking me if I need some help, commenting down below, sharing this with your friends. These are all ways you can help me. I don't ask you guys to do these things because I know naturally it will happen if you if you genuinely want to do it. But these are ways you can help me. If you really want to help me, like the video, watch the whole video, share it with your friends. That's literally comment commenting down below. Posting my the posting the video on like group chats. I don't necessarily want you guys to do this because sometimes when you promote it with certain friends, they're just gonna watch the video and not watch the entirety of it. But if you truly believe this person needs this advice that I'm giving, share the link with them. It's been your boy, Paul Kadar. Love you guys all. Truly, truly, I love you guys all. I love everyone equally. And it's not cap. I'm not wearing a cap. I'm wearing my durag. I love you guys truly, every single one of you. Enemies, friends, family, people I don't know, neighbours. I love you all. I love you all. I might not act in that regard. I might be going through some shit. But I truly love you all. If you've done wrong to me, if you've done good to me, if you've done nothing to me, I love you all. It's been your boy Paul Kadar. Don't ever forget that name. Take care, guys. Peace, love, joy, happiness. We out.